What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today with game six of my head to head seasons on Madden 25 Ultimate Team. This is season two, and I am one win away now from a playoff berth. We're going to try and make sure that that happens in this game. I have been 5 0 up until this point, and I'm feeling really confident. I've been able to run the ball really effectively. My passing game's getting a little bit better. Defense is playing really well, too. I have allowed a few deep passes that I'm not too happy about, but overall, I think we've been doing pretty good. We're forcing a ton of turnovers, which is always hugely important in Madden, and I've been protecting the ball for the most part really well. I don't think I have many turnovers in this entire season so far, and you know, win Madden, that's really how you win games. If you don't turn the ball over and you force turnovers, you're typically going to win in this game, and that's how it is in real life as well. But let's get into this gameplay footage. I'm up against Moneyboy24. Let's take a look at his lineup first. And he does actually have quarterback Walter Payton, just like me. That means that I'm going to have to have a lot of QB spies. I'm probably going to have to run some QB contains just to make sure that Walter Payton doesn't beat me. But overall, his team is kind of a budget squad. I mean, he does have some good players here and there. He does have Thurman Thomas and that kind of stuff. But, you know, nobody that's a real superstar outside of quarterback Walter Payton and Thurman Thomas. So... I think for the most part, I should be in good shape. My team is definitely better overall. But if there's one thing I know about Madden, it's that you never wanted to go into a game too confident. First play though, Chris Johnson off the edge, the outside zone. We always test him with that first. See how they react to it. Get a nice gain on first down. Now we're going to go with the read option. It's quarterback Walter Payton. He's going to get a nice gain here as well. A big first down. He's running down the sidelines. Makes a juke down to about the 15-yard line. And now we go back to the outside zone. This time to the right side. He gets taken down after a one-yard gain. So let's see if he can stop the read option yet. Let's see here. Quarterback Walter Payton gets the blocking that he needs. And he's going to pick up a first down. No, not quite. Third and inches. Read option one more time, and this time we give it to Chris Johnson, and he scampers into the end zone. A touchdown on the first drive. We are up 7-0, and now it's time to try out some defense here. First play, he hands the ball up to Thurman Thomas up the middle. Nice gain. Second play, another handoff to Thomas. He does get the first down this time. First and 10 now, and he hands it off up the middle. Another first down here for Thurman Thomas. A big gain there. He has three rushes for 30 yards at this point. And now he's got me thinking run. And I know that he's going to try and run right up the middle again like he has been. Wait, no he's not. Play action pass. He hits Greg Olson. Gets me out of position. And I don't recover very well on that one. He does get a nice first down. He tries to go play action again though. And back to back plays. And that time I saw it coming. Devin McCordy, that user pick, son. Don't test the user. Back on offense, we're going to try and run again. He run commits, and I nearly broke that one by springing it back the opposite direction. He did get a great tackle, though, there, saving what could have been a, just a massive gain. Next play, though, it's a play-action pass. A big gain to Trendon Holiday, who breaks loose 31 yards on that completion, and we're back to running the ball on offense. Chris Johnson makes a guy miss, makes another guy miss. Another big first down for us there. A couple plays later, let's go back to the read option. He saw it coming, but QB Walter with the spin move gets away from it. And it's another first down on the ground. Let's see if he can stop it this time. Doesn't look like it. Another nice gain for Walter Payton, and we are just making him pay. I don't know why he's not committing to the quarterback, but I'll take it. This time, we hand it off to Chris Johnson up the middle, and he does get tackled. Now, watch this play here. Look at how many guys he has stacked to that right side. He knows that I want to run the ball. So I'm going to flip it to the opposite side. He doesn't match it with his defense, and we are able to walk in for another touchdown. Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, glass. Now, he goes off sides here and blocks my extra point. And for some reason, instead of pressing attempt PAT, I accidentally click kickoff. <sighs> yep, that just happened. Good thing my defense showed up. It's Alden Smith getting the sack there. Next play, he's going to go underneath to his tight end, Greg Olson. But we are able to stop him before the first down. And he's going to try here to go with a screen pass. But it doesn't develop. And Elvis Doomerville eats him alive in the backfield for a nice sack. He ends up punting. And now it's our ball with 16 seconds left in the first half. We're going to try and go play action here. Looking for a big gain. And Trendon Holiday can't hold on in double coverage. Dang, that was close. 
but that's okay because the very next play works out in our favor. We move Vernon Davis in motion. We hit the read option one more time. A big block by Davis there, and Peyton is gone again. Scoring with just one second left in the first half. And now, guys, we are up three scores, and that is it. That is going to do it in this one. My opponent quit immediately, and I don't really blame him. That's got to be frustrating. When you don't know how to stop the read option, it can just abuse you like that. And I'm not going to go away from it. If he's going to give it to me, if he's going to try and block my extra points, guess what? You're going to get that work, son. So that's going to do it in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Madden 25 Ultimate Team content. I'll have more head-to-head -head gameplay coming for you this week. And I'll also be bringing you more of the budget team series that I've been putting together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.